What's up everybody, I'm Razor Fake Steve. Welcome to the first section of the Razor Naga interface add-on tutorial. In this section I will show you how to download and install an interface add-on for your MMO using World of Warcraft as an example. Gamers who are familiar with this step, please feel free to skip to the next video. To begin, load your Naga software and switch to the add-on tab. Click the search for add-ons button to be taken to a download page or search for the Razer Naga add-on on getimba.com. Add-ons must be saved to a specific folder in your game directory. Open your World of Warcraft directory, then find the interface folder. Inside the interface folder, find a folder called add-ons. Make sure you save any and all add-ons to this folder. Once the download completes, unzip or extract the file. Now you should have several Razer Naga interface add-on folders inside the add-on folder in your World of Warcraft directory. With the add-on files inside. Make sure that these folders are directly in the add-on folder. If they are not, the game will not recognize the add-on. For other MMO games, the installation process for add-ons is very similar. The add-on file will be placed in the appropriate folder. That's all there is to it. Now I'll demonstrate how to ensure your add-on is active and ready to use in-game. At the character selection screen in World of Warcraft, you'll find a button for add-ons. Clicking it will bring up a list of add-ons you have installed and they can be enabled or disabled from here. Select a character and make sure your Razer Naga add-on and its components are enabled. Once that's confirmed, simply log in as you normally would. Your Razer Naga add-on is now active and is ready to be configured. Please continue to the second video for a tutorial of setting up and using this add-on with your Razer Naga.